Putin murdering Navalny, says Biden, EU. And this is a topic report, and the topic report title is Putin critic dying in prison hospital triggers Biden to warn Putin of, quote, dire consequences, unquote, should he die. And this is our topic is Alexei Navalny hunger strike Russia. And our top link that we've chosen for this topic report is Russia imposes TV blackout on Alexei Navalny amid fears he could die any day from the mirror. Uh, this is uh, Will Stewart and Lorraine King join forces to help write this excerpt for me. Well, not for me, but whatever. Russian state TV has imposed a virtual blackout on coverage on Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny amid claims he could die at any minute in a prison hospital. The imprisoned 44-year-old, a prominent criti of, critic of President Vladimir Putin, has been on a hunger strike, and there are planned protests. There's protests all the way around the world. It's it's the new spectator sport. That's a participatory and spectator sport. It's both of those all in one. Jo and we it's the it's biggest teams you can think. Of. You got thousands of people on each team. You know, it's almost like war. Pretty close to it. Well, it's not really, but it is. It's it's pretty close. Joe Biden news. U.S. President warns Putin there will be consequences if Navalny dies. So let's go to this story, because this story I find very interesting. I think there's a lot of, uh, I accept, I accept. I go ahead, have my information. Here we go. And you're not going to show me. Here we go. World on the brink. Biden warns Putin. Mm, you're too big. There we go. Biden has warned Vladimir Putin there would be consequences if political ri rival Alexei Navalny dies in prison. And it says here, uh, let's see, Vladimir Putin may be putting Biden to the test. Speaking today, the U.S. presidential president's national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, warned Washington will not hesitate to strike back if Mr. Navalny dies in prison. And then Mr. Navalny's doctors have warned his health is rapidly declining due to a hunger strike, forcing the U.S. to reveal the government is considering a wide range of responses, forcing them, of course, forcing them. Mr. Sullivan said Washington is looking at a variety of different costs that we would impose if Navalny dies. And you just want to do that to me. So, you know, you're a mess. <clears throat> Navalny advisor on Kremlin critics medical test results. Absolutely disasters. That is from CNN. Then we have Navalny's team calls protest amid reports of failing health from WashingtonPost.com. Russia's Alexei Navalny. Boy, I've seen this thing spelled so many names, so many ways. Alex, well, actually, just two ways. Don't be hyperbolic, Paul. Uh, it's with an I or a Y. I, I chose with the. I chose to go with the Y <coughs> or the I. Russia's Alexei Navalny is dying in prison. Allies call for national protest from ABC News. Navalny ally says no hope of good news on his health from News 24. Russia moves Navalny to prison hospital amid outcry over Kremlin's critics' health. And Putin critic. That's from Press 24. And then. From, mirror, from the mirror, Putin critic Alexei Navalny taken to hospital after 19 days of hunger strike protests. So what you have here is uh, you have a beautiful opportunity for nation states that are opposed to Russia to use this as a righteous uh, indignation cry to show how, how bloodthirsty and evil Russia is. And, well, while they're doing the same, they're all doing the same. So this is an opportunity for them and... I don't know. I, 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 I think that uh, in this case, it, it is pretty hideous of Russia. There's, there's no defense of, of what Russia has done arresting this man for basically being a critic of Putin. Remember, in the United States of America, you're still more free than you are in Russia on the main, in aggregate, in overwhelming aggregate. Now, I don't know how much longer that will be f the case because we have significant number of human beings that exist in certain factions in America that seem ready to adopt policies and standards that fundamentally jettison and destroy King Bill, the Bill of Rights, which is the real rule of law in our land. Russia doesn't have any such thing. I mean, they have a constitution, but it's, it's just, it doesn't have the same kind of ideational power within the hearts of its citizens as the Bill of Rights does 
in the United States of America, and I still think the Bill of Rights does have that power from for a significant portion of Americans, even if they're not willing to use it uh, consistently. They're basically willing to use it to protect their faction, but not other factions, like the way that the quote-unquote right is supporting le legislation that would remove the right to government services from people that might be convicted of protest, like in perpetuity. So, so there's that. That would be a pretty clear Bill of Rights violation of, of their very citizenship. Certainly, uh, well, anyway, I don't know if I want to say much more about this. I'm tracking this, but I don't, I don't have enough details to really be able to go into depth about uh, the degree to which uh, the Russians are being wholly unjust. Well, they're being pretty unjust, but, but how... Well, let's just say the nuance is missing from this story, but it bears paying attention to, certainly paying attention to what's going on with Navalny bears paying attention. And if he dies, I don't think that the Biden administration has many options there. Once again, doing what, they're, what they did with the Black Sea, where they said they're going to send U.S. troops, U.S. ships, and then they either they turned them away or they didn't send them. And now they're going to do the same thing again because there's, there's no effective response the United States has if Navalny does actually die in prison. And there you go. That's, that's that report.